Hi all, um, Mr. Hampshire here, and I'm just going to be going through um, uh, um, your Microsoft Teams tutorial and show you how to access your live sessions um, and how to access resources that teachers have shared with you and how to communicate and edit those, uh, any resources, worksheets and bits and pieces um, like so. Now, first off, um, yes, my interface or, or what you might be seeing in front of you looks quite different, but maybe familiar to Mac users because, yes, I am using a, a Mac operating system here at home. Um, and don't worry for those because I know there'll be many Windows users that look so different because everything from this point on uh, will look really, really similar because we're going to be going through uh, a web browser. Now, first thing I want to draw your attention to is the Microsoft Teams help guide uh, that we've prepared for you. So it's all broken down into chapters and content. So anything I go through in the video that you're not sure with, don't hesitate to have a look back later at this how-to guide. Um, and it should explain to you fairly straightforwardly how you can do some of the things I've also explained to you in this tutorial. And if in doubt you've checked the how-to guide and you've watched the video and paused and tried to go through it yourself, please don't hesitate to get in contact with a member of staff. Now, I'm going to start by opening Google Chrome. Um, and web browser is the first thing I want to talk about. So please make sure um, that you're using preferably Google Chrome if you have it. Um, if not, use something like Microsoft Edge because we've had trouble with Mozilla Firefox. So not all web browsers um, support Teams correctly. So please make sure that you're using Chrome ideally, if not Microsoft Edge. And we're going to start by just Googling through the address bar Office 365. Okay, And then I'm going to click on that first top link and then I'm going to select Sign In. Now at this point, I need to type in uh, my full... Um, school email address so uh, I've had the IT guys kindly create this mock Gavin Williamson um, email address so 19g Williamson at salesion.sorry.sch.uk click next and then it's going to ask me for another set of sign in details now those who have used office 365 because they've been having to access teams like year 12s and so on then you'll already have done this so you won't have to worry so 90 G. Williamson here. So this time, I don't need to type in my full email address, just my school username and my password that chaps set up for me. It's hopefully going to work. And then click enter. Okay. And we might as well save that. Now, this is what we call the Office 365 virtual desktop. Okay. You've got access to your school email via Outlook, your cloud storage, which is OneDrive, so you can upload files to share with teachers and, and so on. You can access Word Online, Excel Online, PowerPoint Online, and a number of other applications. And there's many more that you'll be getting familiar with um, slowly but surely as time progresses. But obviously, our focus today is Teams, so I'm going to click and open Teams in browser windows. Now, I personally don't like using the applications you can download the apps for your phones and your iPads and your other devices and have it installed um, but I think using the web browser version is just as good as any now as you can see the first thing I'm prompted with is stay in the no turn on desktop notifications and I'm going to turn this on guys so that every time one of your classes um, your teacher shares a resource or is about to start a live session um, or has put in some feedback for you or maybe the class or a student in class to say you'll get a notification so you can go and access them okay but you can obviously turn off notifications yourselves at a later point if you find you're getting too many of general bits and pieces so we're going to jump into this little year 7 IT class that Miss Foreman has kindly created for us okay so you guys will have a number of these boxes all with your class codes as referenced on your timetable and if I click on you can see that there's already a meeting in session or a live session, um, and I'm going to click join. Now, it's asking me to allow uh, the use of my camera and microphone, and this will pop up. So, guys, really important that you disable your camera and you disable your microphone before joining a lesson. Okay, this is you know, not advised, this is our expectation. That's because we don't want lots of students joining. So I'm gonna click join now, and we can see uh, Miss Foreman is there. I'm just gonna turn on my microphone so Miss Foreman can hear me, um, and just so she understands what I'm doing. So guys, remember, those microphones and those cameras have to be muted throughout. So as you can see, you might, when you join a live session, you might be seeing your teachers. We're seeing uh, Miss Foreman here, who's gonna be going through some bits and pieces on, on her end as a teacher side of things. Um, but she might also, or 
she is going to kindly for us, but your teachers might also be sharing their screen to share with you uh, a PowerPoint or do so. So Miss Foreman, if you want to go ahead and get that up now, and I'll just explain the raise your hand feature. So something else you can do to alert your teachers, guys, during the session is raise your hand. And as I click that, although we can't see anything, Miss Foreman has received a notification on her end that we... Uh, have raised our hand just like we would in lessons and we want to communicate okay so I'm just going to turn that off and so we can explain and you can see Miss Foreman sharing with us a break-even analysis a break-even analysis lesson from obviously one of her GCSE business lessons here and this would be often what teachers are doing they're going to try and teach you their lessons as they normally would um, as per you might receive at school okay um, so you might see a little bit of your teacher for questions and, and their tutorial purposes and often you might be prevent, presented with videos or clips or PowerPoints or Word documents as they explain different resources or the home learning work you need to be doing. Now the other really important feature I'm going to do, oh, I won't mute myself so that Miss Form knows what I'm doing but you guys know to keep those muted at all times, is the show conversation feature. Now, this is where we can actually communicate to our teacher and access and ask questions as live sessions are going on. So I'm just going to say, hi, Mrs. Hi, Miss. Apologies. I was late. What do I need for this session? OK, so I'm going to presume I was a bit late for this session. And often at the beginning of live sessions, your teachers will tell you, look, you need your exercise book with you to hand as you're going to be doing some work in your books. You're going to need uh, one of, an additional resource or it might be access to one of the resources they've uploaded as part of your uh, team, that class that you're in. And you can see Miss Foreman's got back to me. Hi, Gavin. Could you bring your exercise book, please? So I'd obviously go off and make sure I've got that to hand as we go through maybe the note taking portion of the lesson. Now, um, the only other thing you really need to know, guys, is you can add attachments to the chat. So I could share some work by uploading it from my computer if I've completed it on OneDrive there. Okay, and I'm just going to acknowledge actually, show you as I um, and your homework. So I'm just going to put a thumbs up to Miss Foreman so she knows I've got that message as opposed to me typing out, yeah, I've got all there. Now, with that chat feature, obviously, you'll see lots of comments from the rest of your class who are in the live session at the time. Um, and you can see if you need to ask a student privately whilst the teacher's going something, you can click on show participants. Um, then you can see who's in the, the live session and you can communicate directly with them. So I'm just going to close that off, bring back up show conversation. And that's all there is to the live sessions, guys. You ask questions on chat, turn off your camera, turn off your microphone, OK, because obviously... Lord knows what's going on in the background, but mum and dad might be up to bits and pieces and that, and uh, your sister or brother might be having an argument, or who, who knows, but it's best that we keep the microphones and the cameras off for you guys, and we'll just be in, in charge of that on our end as teachers. Now, if there are any questions, as I say, don't hesitate to ask. Um, I'm just going to leave now, so we're just going to hang up from the live session. So, we we'll say goodbye to Miss Foreman, goodbye miss um, and we're going to hang up okay and we're off and I want to show you something else so when teachers okay so Miss Foreman's replied I could open that up when teachers want to share resources with you they'll be doing this through the files tab of their particular lesson group so you go to files and you'll see that you've got a break even revision PowerPoint here that I need to download and if I click on what I call the three dots or the, the more actions um, I've got a number of choices. Now, the ones you need to pay attention to are the open choices. So we can open, because it's PowerPoint, open in PowerPoint online, or open in PowerPoint. So if I wanted to download a copy and begin editing, I'll just open PowerPoint, and it's going to open up PowerPoint on my computer like so, and show me the PowerPoint. And then I can begin, If it, imagine if it was a Microsoft worksheet, maybe some math sums from maths, or, or something from science, biology, or physics then I could complete that and then send it back. But actually, a feature you might want to take advantage of is um, editing it using one of the online applications. Because if I go to open in PowerPoint online here, then I could edit this document, not that I would need to in this case, because obviously it's just a, a revision PowerPoint. Um, but I could save a copy, I could edit away, and then what I could do is I could click on File, if I needed to share this back to my teacher to show them I've completed it. I go down to Share, share with people 
And then in the name, we just type in the username of who we want to share. So we're use Miss Foreman as we see FOR, there's Miss Foreman. So I click on Miss Foreman and then I click send. Okay. So any initials a teacher. So say if I um, had a lesson uh, with Mr. Brunsills, I type in his initials, OB. And sometimes you have to type in quite a few initials, but eventually it pops up, guys, and you can see there, and I can send to him like so. And what happens is once I click send, is the teacher gets a notification allowing them to access that resource that will now be saved as part of your OneDrive, okay? But you can also access it through PowerPoint Online, Excel, and Word Online. Now, quite conscientious that we've dragged on here, guys, so I don't... Um, think there's anything else that you guys need to know about it. We've gone through live sessions, we've gone through how to log on successfully and access it, we've gone through accessing resources, we've edited some resources or show you where you can do that. Um, and any other questions you might have, please you know look to the booklet. Okay? If all else fails, don't hesitate to get in contact. That's all for now. Goodbye.